credit scores. Basically, if you have a low credit score, you're going to pay more money. But if you have a high credit score, you will pay less money to lenders. Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of credit scores and how to increase your credit score. Hey YouTube, this is DIY with Donna. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. So what is a credit score? A credit score is just a number that represents your credit worthiness. Lenders wanna know if they're going to get their money back um, if they lend you this money. Usually the range is from 300 to 850. Who uses credit scores? Lots of uh, industries. Landlords, if you're trying to rent a place, they're probably gonna check your credit scores. Um, finance and insurance companies look at credit scores. You also could have employers, with your permission, check out your credit scores. Utilities, uh, banks, of course, credit cards, and mortgage lenders also use credit scores. So it's important to have a good credit scores because lots of entities and companies utilize this number. So here's an example from bankrate.com that illustrates the difference in how much, much interest rate someone pays based on their credit score. So if you have an excellent credit score, um, which they're saying between 781 to 850, for a new car, you would only pay 2.6%, and for a used car, a 3.4%. If you have a poor credit score, ranging from 300 to 500, your interest rates go to 13.4%. 53% or 18.98%. Uh, this is six times the amount of um, interest rate that you're paying because of your credit score. Some of the factors that are utilized to create this credit score is outstanding debt, um, also credit availability. Do you pay your bills on time? and the length of history of credit that you may have. So now let's look at how you can improve your credit score. The very first thing you should do is get your credit report. You can get a free credit report at the website annualcreditreport.com. When you do get this report, check the information on it. Make sure it has your name and your address and all the other personal information is correct. Then check the loans and the history of information that they have there. Sometimes this information is incorrect. And if it is not correct, you need to contact those companies that have incorrect information or even the credit report company and get those things resolved. The next item I would look at is your debt to income ratio. Um, here is an example of how to calculate your debt to income ratio. If you sum up all your bills that you have for the month, um, here's an example of someone who has summed up their bills and it's $2,300. And then their monthly income is $5,000 and that's dividing their yearly salary by 12. So you take your bills for the month and divide it by your monthly income and then you should get your debt to income ratio. In this example, the uh, percent is 46%, which is kind of high. Um, your goal should be to keep your debt to income ratio less than 35%. You can do this by decreasing um, the amount of uh, bills that you have. You might want to spend less on your credit cards. You might look for cheaper insurance. Um, or you might want to get a part-time job to increase your monthly income. Let's look at credit availability. What that is, 
is if you have a credit card, let's say, and your limit is $5,000 and you spend $700 on your credit card, your credit availability will be your credit limit minus the amount that you spend. So if you have a credit limit of $5,000 and you spend, you put $700 on your credit card, your credit availability will be $4,300. A way to improve your credit availability is check to see if you can get an increase in your credit limit. So let's say currently is at $5,000, check with the credit card company to see if they can extend it to 10,000. This does not mean for you to put more on your credit because you want that difference between your credit availability and how much you spend on your credit card to be large. So for example, if now it's 10,000 um, credit limit and I'm spending 700, my credit availability is $9,300. Another way is to always pay your credit card bill on time. Definitely pay more than the minimum, and if possible, always pay the full amount of what's on your credit card for the month. Also, with regards to credit cards, you don't want to have a whole bunch of credit cards. So limit the amount of credit cards that you have and always try and pay the full amount of what is owed on your credit card every month. Lastly, credit history that you have. Usually as a young person, you might not have um, too much credit, but you might want to just get a credit card and put something on the credit card and pay it off um, as soon as um, the credit card bill is due. So you're starting to establish some credit there. Of course, the longer you have had credit, um, that will be the length of time of your credit history. And as long as you've been paying your bills on time or paying whatever loans you had in a timely fashion, this will look good for your credit score. So just to recap, ways to improve your credit score include one, getting your credit report and ensuring that the information is correct. You can get a free credit report at annualcreditreport.com. Two, look at your debt to income ratio. Try to get that percentage lower than 35%. Three, look at your credit availability. If you can extend the amount of credit um, that you have um, and still maintain how much you're putting on credit at the same rate, your credit availability will increase. Always pay your credit bills on time. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. This is DIY with Donna and I'll see you next time. Thank you.